Hey guys, I'm back for the first time in a while, and today I got a pack of news headed your way. Number one on the headlines right now of all boat nerds is that the Algoma Discovery, the ship that has caught fire, has lived, and is making her way up or already up in two harbors at the time this video is posted. So, Algoma Discovery, it's good to see you back, Algoma Discovery. Now, on the other hand, a freshly painted ship enters the shipping season, with new colors being the Erie Trader or the Clyde S. Van Enkevert. She enters a new season with red colors, and I'm absolutely loving that. Now, other news that will shatter some boat nerds' hearts. The Cajun J. Callaway is supposedly or apparently going to be scrapped, due to there being $7 million in steelwork for her. It has also been confirmed by ASC workers and other workers from Great Lakes Fleet. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I'm just keep in mind that the Callaway is meeting her final few years. Now, on to the next news being, topic being the Cor Col Port Colborne uh, Scrapyard. Sorry about that. The beloved vessel Ojibwe was fully scrapped. Don't worry. They saved her pile of house, which is, I hope someone or something buys it and puts it up into a museum or something. Other news is that the ST Crapo is being rapidly scrapped right now, if not fully scrapped. And again, like the Ojibwe, her pilot house was saved and hopefully to be preserved. Now on to more Algoma news. Two Algoma ships open their seasons knowing that it's their last. The, those two Algoma ships being the Algoma Transport and the Algoma Guardian. Algoma Guardian being Algoma Discovery's uh, sister ship and Algoma Transport's being the... Uh, the Algoma Enterprises uh, sister ship. Um, so um, th their scrap toys are going to be something. So I hope you enjoyed this news video. And this is all I have for now. And I have documentary on the way. So, And I will see you next time on Everything Lake Freighters.